Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Masashi Hirose. I'm CEO of NanoFiber Quantum Technologies. We call it NanoQT for short. Today, I am joining you from Tokyo, Japan. It is my great pleasure to talk about NanoQT today. Let me start from a couple of highlights about NanoQT. NanoQT is a very early stage startup founded by last year with research seeded by um, Professor Takaoki's research at Waseda University, Japan. We're the first startup in Japan to develop QPU, quantum processing unit for quantum computing and networking. And we are the actually the very first startup in the world to utilize optical cavity QED, which is quantum electrodynamic system. Lastly, we are backed by the first fund from Waseda University Ventures with $1.4 million last year, and are currently expanding our team and operations with this support. Let me introduce the NanoQT team. We have three co-founders in NanoQT, including myself. Top left, we have Professor Takaoki, the key person behind this invention of these technologies. Third photo is Dr. Goban, our CTO, a brilliant scientist and people leader, integrating the cavity QED system with the cold atom technique. He was educated and trained at Caltech under Dr. Jeff Kimbo and Dr. Junier Ajila. Below of Dr. Goban, you see Richard Ogawa, who is American prominent patent lawyer in Silicon Valley. Additionally, we have um, five top-notch PhD scientists who joined this year, and we expect to make double um, our team size in the coming year. NanoQT's vision is to develop the quantum network. To achieve this, we are developing so-called the connectable of quantum processing units, which can operate as both quantum computer and also quantum repeaters. Our QPU is quite unique in terms of capabilities to be connected and integrated into optical fibers. We believe that these capabilities will be the key to elevate scalability to the next level, enabling distributed quantum computing and quantum repeaters. So what are the key challenges in developing quantum computers? We believe that these arises from two aspects. First, we need to develop QPU, which operates in a distributed setting to enable the protocol such as entanglement swapping, purification, and quantum memory. In addition to that, we need to realize the functionality to achieve a large scale deployment and integration, such as the variability of telecom wavelengths around 1.5 micrometers, room temperature operation, and a low loss integration into the optical network, fiber networks. So how do we tackle these challenges? Our approach is a combination of two distinctive approaches. Firstly, we use neutral atoms as a qubit, specifically ethereum atoms. And we believe that neutral atoms is a great candidate as qubit because it's identical and a scalable and also has a long coherence time with a long lived nucleus spins. And also photonic qubit is available at telecom wavelengths. With those great properties, we combine the neural atoms with proprietary manufactured nanofiber cavity QED systems, which enable us to uh, realize the strong interaction between neural atoms and photons so that we can realize the efficient information exchange between these two qubits. Lastly, uh, let me briefly talk about our outlook. As I mentioned, we are still in the early phase and are currently developing machines to achieve proof of concept expected to be completed by FY25. Following that, we plan to integrate these technologies to launch the first product of connectable QPU before FY27. And we are expanding our operation and aspiring to become a global presence. As a first step, we are in discussion with parties in the US, including Maryland Quantum Startup Foundry, to seek collaborations and expand our R&D operations. Additionally, we are interested in collaborating and especially around the exploration of applications using distributed quantum computing and quantum networking, as well as software development. If you have any inquiries, please reach out to me as contact shown here. And Thank you for your attention.